guys if you're just now fucking with me welcome if you've been fucking with me welcome back in today's video as you can see by the title i'm going to be doing a fashion nova haul it has been a minute since i've shopped on fashion nova which is very like shocking for me because if y'all know anything about me i love clothes if you guys want to see what i bought and the items that i got keep on watching make sure you like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed i don't know what you doing so right now right now if you haven't already pause the video scroll down click subscribe come back press play and let's get it popping okay so the first item i'm actually already wearing right here they are these tie-dye sweats um i got these in the men's section on fashion nova i've been really wanting to try out their men's clothing um because at heart i'm a man no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> Um, no, I just really love men's clothing. It's just, I don't know, I really love guy clothes and I have yet to try Fashion Nova men. Um, they're very, very good quality. They're really, really thick. I love that. Very thick, like good material. There's a pocket on the butt that I love. The front pockets are very deep, which is good. And I love the tie-dye. I really love like that it's pastel colors. It's not like super bright, loud tie-dye because I feel like that's kind of tacky. Then also my sister had came home with a pair of tie-dye sweats like a few weeks ago and I was like oh my god I'll match with my sister yeah so I will make sure I link everything down in the description box below if you guys want to go get some of these items yourself moving on the next item that I got is this cute long sleeve shirt so I wouldn't say my style has changed but my style has definitely gotten a little more like diverse lately I try not to like stay in the same um, color scheme because I'm always wearing like black and gray and very like my clothes are always really plain so I've been trying to add color and design to my wardrobe lately things that are more creative and expressive so with that being said although this shirt is black there's a cute design on it it is called the mystical long sleeve top there's some cuts down the middle right here which i love it gives it like a sexy vibe showing a little bit of skin why i really got it is the dragons and the yin yang the symbol of the yin yang is just very special to me it was the first tattoo that i got matching with my sister it was literally like both of our first tattoos ever and so the yin yang will just always have a special place in my heart so i loved the yin yang on it i love the dragons and then it says mystical and i just i'm really into like the mystical vibe it has this little tie part right here you have to tie it up or else this weird thing is just hanging long right here looking like something that i'm not gonna say on camera so you're supposed to tie this part up right here and i think it's really cute i think it's like a cute little design something different that i'm not always wearing and not plain and i don't know i really like it the next thing that i got are some white jeans i've always thought white jeans were very very classy looking like every time i saw girls in them i just thought they looked so classy and clean and sophisticated but i always stayed away from white jeans because they're gonna get dirty but i really really wanted some so i got me some these are the perfectly classic jeans i got them in a size three um they're high-waisted which i love um high-waisted jeans just fit me the best because i don't have hips and so my jeans have to come above my waist or else I just look weird and crazy. Um, so yeah, they're high-waisted, very stretchy, very snug to the body. Fashion Nova just kills it with the jeans. Everybody knows it at this point. They just make your body look snatched period poo they do look a little see-through i feel like i'm gonna have to be very careful about the underwear that i wear with these i guess there's like special fibers and stuff in these jeans i don't know whatever they're really cute comfortable i love i live i stand let's see how long these last me <laughs> the next thing that i got is this long sleeve shirt that says spoiled on it because if i'm being 100 percent honest with y'all I am spoiled. I am very spoiled. I've always been spoiled, but I am grateful and I don't take it for granted. Anything that has ever been given to me from my parents or whoever, I always try to share it and give back and share the love that I've been given throughout my life. So I am spoiled. I am I am daddy's girl. Yeah, I thought this shirt just really fit me. Blue has been my vibe lately. Y'all know this by now. If you don't know this, now you know. Really, really good material. Very stretchy. It's not too, too cropped. It's like right above your waistline which i like um sometimes i don't always like having crop tops that are all the way up under my boob like sometimes it just starts to not be i don't know it's just 
it can it can be a little extra sometimes to have them super super crop tops like this right here like this is super cropped like i don't need to walk around with this much stomach out everywhere i go i love this blue it's not too too bright if i'm gonna add color to my wardrobe i'm trying to keep it like you know chill i'm not trying to walk out the house looking like a traffic cone so yeah i thought this shirt was really really cute and very me and just yeah, very me. <laughs> the next thing that I got are these camo cargo pants. Now, before y'all say anything, I know the camo pants were a trend a few years ago. I want to say two years ago now. I love plain camo. I love the green plain basic camo. I feel like they'll always be in style. I feel like they'll never go out of style. What I don't stand and what I do not agree with and never agreed with was the color camo. The orange and the blue and the purple and the... It was never it for me. I'm sorry. I thought that sh that sh was so just not it. Like, it was not cute to me. And if, if you're watching this and you had some, I'm not judging you. But personally, for me, it just was not it. Like, I couldn't even... Like when I saw them, I didn't even, I was, it, it never crossed my mind to buy some colored camo. I don't know, it just, it just, it wasn't it for me. But I'm done, I'm done dragging them. We left it in 2018 or whatever year it was. I always wanted some plain camo pants. I never had any. I love them. I love that there's, you know, the little cuff on the bottom so you can wear them as capris or you can leave them down to your ankles. The pockets are really big and deep so you can hold a lot of stuff in there. The material is good. What I love about these the most is that they have a little like adjustable waistband on the side right here, which is the smartest thing they could have done because for me, I have a very, very tiny waist that I'm very thankful for. But when it comes to pants, especially baggy pants, they'll fit on my legs, but around my waist is always way too big and my pants hang off my waist. So when I put these on at first, I was scared because they didn't fit my waist. They were a little bit too baggy, but then I saw these on the side and I like pulled it and it literally snatched my waist and I was like, thank you Fashion Nova. Like, thank you for understanding my struggle. Thank you. The next thing I got is this cute little crop top. Now, I never, ever, ever wear the color red. It's my least favorite color ever. I don't know why. I really have never really understood why I don't like red, but I noticed that it's the only color in my wardrobe besides pink that I barely own. So I got this cute little red bandana tie up crop top. Now I know it is cold outside right now in Vegas, um, but hoes never get cold, you know? So um, yeah, I still got it. I thought it was cute. This is a very cute, I feel like going out top. Um, it's a very, very, very soft material. I love it, I love it. And um, yeah, you tie it up in the front just like you would a bandana on your head and I think it's super cute. Um, I have no boobs. I am a proud member of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Um, I like my small boobs. Um, I don't know, I think they're cute. I think they're in more nowadays, so I'm not mad at it. But I'm sure if you did have two or three sizes bigger than mine that this shirt would look even cuter on you. But. I'ma still rock it because I'm me and that's what I do. The next top that I got, I'm not so sure about. I saw it on the website and I don't know, like I said, I've just been trying to be a little more expressive with my style this season, this time around. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling this one. I might, I feel like I'll feel it better when I'm like actually have a full outfit on, but when I tried it on at first, I had like no makeup on. You know how it is when like you try on an outfit and it, you feel like it looks ugly, but then you try it on later when your hair and your makeup's done and you're like, oh, okay, like it's actually kind of cute. I feel like that's what this shirt is. So this is the Steal Your Shine top. So it's this long sleeve, stretchy mesh material top. It is definitely sparkly as you can see. Um, I really like the neckline and like the lining of it because it's like a ruffle but not like too extra where I'm looking like, I don't know, a poodle or something. It, it is very see-through so I'll obviously be wearing a bra or something underneath. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I thought it would be like a cute going out top. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll see. Like I said, I feel like I gotta try it on like with hair and makeup done. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's it. That's all I have to say about this one. The next top that I got is this cropped flannel, which I am obsessed with. And it says baby girl on the back. I'm trying to be somebody's baby. 
baby girl this year. <laughs> I honestly feel like the white jeans would look the best with this. I'm not normally a matchy matchy person, but I feel like this would just be a cute like date night outfit. Like you're going with Bae, it says baby girl, and the white jeans are very like classy and you could put on like boots or like heels or something. I don't know. I feel like this would be a really cute like movie night, date night outfit. But yeah, that, it's really light and comfortable and casual. And I like that there's a little bit of distressing on the bottom, a little bit of like fray. I think that's cute. This is just a very me top. It's very me, like very street, but still cute and girly. And I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. The next item that I got is my most disappointing album. Album? <laughs> is the most disappointing item. Um, of this haul. I really wanted some flare jeans, okay? Flare jeans are making a comeback. Um, I wore a pair of like flare pants to Life is Beautiful this year. I'll post a picture right here. They're these yellow plaid flare pants and they look so cute. I got so many compliments. I was like, okay, I can pull this off. So I wanted to try some jeans that look like that. Girl, <laughs> they're too long. They're way too long for me. They fit really, really well. I don't know why I'm not holding them because I'm like in denial that they're not cute. Um, they fit really, really well. So they're like just plain blue or whatever and they flare at the bottom. They fit really well like from literally the waist to my knee. But then once they flare out, they're just way too long. Like I put them on last night and I just started dying laughing because I was like, there's no way me or anybody else is gonna take me seriously in these pants. But I like the style, so I'm kinda, I'm really bummed about it. I tried them on with some heels to see like maybe if the heels, like, you know, adding some inches would make it like better. It made it a little bit better. It's, it's a cute vibe, but they just didn't fit me and I'm kinda sad about it. So I don't know yet. I don't know how I feel. I really. I might try to wear them still with some like heels or I might send them back and try a different pair. I haven't decided yet, but if you're tall, try some flare jeans because they'll probably look really, really good on you. <laughs> and last but not least is a cute little item that I just wanted to add. It's a little butterfly gold necklace. If you've been watching my videos or following me on Instagram, you know that the butterfly is my theme for this year. So I got this little gold butterfly. Um, I really like it. I'm gonna put it on right now because I need to embrace hiccups. I need to embrace my butterfly energy right now. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. But I probably should have gotten a silver one because all of my piercing jewelry is silver, but whatever. We're just gonna cross, cross dress? Whatever, whatever it's called when you wear like two different colored jewelry, we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it wasn't that much stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe, please. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. I do want to let you guys know that I have an Instagram account just for my YouTube content. Um, I didn't want to oversaturate my main page because I have like an aesthetic and like a theme going on on that page and I didn't want to ruin it by putting YouTube content on there. So if you want to follow that, I will put it on the screen and it's Garen Janae TV. I will also link it down below so you guys can follow me and click it. If you like haul videos, let me know. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite item? What do you think you would have worn and got? What was your favorite item? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my my next video. Peace!